Hi, this is Jennifer Hansen from Stitch Diva Studios. I'm just learning how to use my video equipment to share the skills and techniques required for use in our patterns. Available for direct download online from stitchdiva.com or at fine yarn retailers worldwide. Please, if you like these videos, if you don't like them, if you'd like to see something else in future, let us know. Drop us an email at support at stitchdiva.com. But right now, sit back and enjoy the show. This is one in a multi-part series I have available on our website at stitchdiva.com and at YouTube on Broomstick Lace. We're going to cover the basics of Broomstick Lace, how to work in the round, and how to do shaping, increasing and decreasing. What you're going to need to get started is a large knitting needle, I use the number 19 in the videos, and a crochet hook appropriately sized to your yarn. Let's get started. So working in the round in Broomstick Lace, yes it is possible. I've heard before, I've been to conferences, talked to people, even read in books that it's not possible to work in the round in Broomstick Lace. Our hourglass jacket, our sleeves are worked in the round. I've done it. It's absolutely possible and I'm going to show you how. Okay, so what I've done here is I've created a really tiny um, crocheted ring. What I've done is I chained, I don't even remember what number, it's not really even important. I did a chain and then I worked um, single crochets into the chain and now what the stitch that's on my loop that's on my hook right here this was after I did the last crochet, uh, single crochet of the first round. I'm simply going to join to the first single crochet of the round with a slip stitch. Okay. And now I'm going to start my loop row of broomstick lace. Okay. So one of the things to remember about broomstick lace is the right side of the work always faces us and we never um, turn the work. And a lot of times when you work in the round and crochet, one of the ways to go is to also work like that. Um, not turning your work and just uh, working in the round as well. And that's what we're going to do when we work in the round in broomstick lace. So I'm going to pull up a loop now and slip the loop onto my knitting needle. And for those of you who are curious, I'm using a number 19 Jenkins Woodworking Maple Knitting Needle. I love their products. You can purchase them at stitchdiva.com. They're light um, and they are just beautiful to work with. Very pleasurable to work with. Anyhow, what I'm going to be doing here is just inserting my hook into every stitch on the round and flipping it onto my knitting needles. What's going to happen differently is when I get just about halfway down this round, this tiny little round here, I'm going to do something a little different than what I might do if I were working straight. So one thing that I can do is I can actually just take whatever round that I'm using and kind of fold it in half just like this and put a clip on marker at the halfway point but quite honestly as you get to the end of towards that halfway point you're going to find that it's going to get harder and harder to put loops onto your hook and you're going to there's going to be a natural point at which you're going to understand you need to incorporate a second knitting needle in order to do this. Which brings me to the materials that you're going to need to work in the round. You are going to need two knitting needles or you could use a circular. Now a circular wouldn't be so great for this really small tube that I'm doing, but if you're doing a larger tube um, you could get a circular needle appropriate to the size of the tube that you're making and you could definitely do broomstick lace on a circular knitting needle. Alright, so I'm nearing this halfway point here. I'm going, I'm going to form another stitch here and maybe I'll just do one more for fun. And that's just about going to bring me to my limit of how many loops I'm going to be able to fit <coughs> on one knitting needle. 
And now, just going to switch this around here, I'm going to introduce the second knitting needle. I'm going to work into the next stitch. Split my yarn there. And now, I'm just going to start accumulating the loops onto this needle. And that's really all there is to it. So, the technique that I'm doing, again, no different than the basic broomstick lace technique. I'm just using two knitting needles in order to turn and do my work in the round. That's all there is to it. And I'm going to do this all the way until I get to the end of the round. So you can see now I'm nearing the end of the round. I've just got a few stitches left. to work, and I think that's it. That is it. I've picked up all my stitches. So now what I'm going to do, similar to any other kind of broomstick work, once I've finished my loop round, take my loops off of my knitting needles. I've got a round of loops here. I don't turn my work. And now I'm just going to join this into the round, and I am going to work into groups of four, similar to what I've done with the broomstick uh, jacket, the hourglass jacket we have available at stitchdiva.com. And I'm going to do the exact same stitch that I have done in um, the introduction broomstick lace videos that are available online. You can find them on our website, stitchdiva.com or at YouTube. All right, last group of four loops. I'm going to do my last four stitches of the stitch round into the last group of four loops. And now to complete the round, just as I would with any kind of standard crochet work, I started this round with a chain three, so I'm going to insert my hook through the top of that chain three and do a slip, uh, make it tighter, and do a slip stitch. That's it. There's a completed uh, round of broomstick lace. And now, if I were to continue doing my second round of broomstick lace, pull up, pull up the loop, and just as you've seen me done the first time around, I would now accumulate loops on the hook, or loops on the knitting needle rather, through the stitches of the round that I just completed. There you have it, working broomstick lace in the round. This is Jennifer Hansen for, St for Stitch Diva Studios. Thanks for watching.